I'm going to help you get from this to this because I'm going to show you how to program your very own RuneScape wood chopping fire making bot in just under five minutes. And by the end of this video, I'm going to walk away to see how well our bot does for us. Before we go on, please like this video and subscribe to the channel so I can continue to make more cool content like this. All right, let's go. First thing I would like you to do, you can use the normal RuneScape client, but download the Rune Light application because this client has some tools that we'll use to help us out. I haven't played RuneScape in a long time, so I'm just going to make a new account really quick. RuneScape is a well-engineered game and the servers have always been super reliable. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? I'll just spend an hour looking for my account password. First off, we're gonna need to do two things. We need to get a tinder box and an ax. Run to your bank if you store them away, like I did. In RuneScape Lite, set these settings up. They're going to help the bot with detecting images properly. We need to find a safe place where our bot won't be attacked. So I'll teleport to the beginning area to find the right collection of trees to cut. I'm just going to run to a place where these easy trees are, and this should work. So hold shift and mark all the trees that you want to cut down, and create a reset tile and label it. The longer the label, the better. It'll be easier for our bot to find. So now let's start coding. You'll need to have Python 3 and the pip package manager already installed. Once you have those installed, use pip to install PyAuto GUI, Pillow, and OpenCV. Our first line of code will be importing PyAutoGUI, then take some screenshots of the trees that you highlighted. Take screenshots of the wood, the tinderbox, and also take screenshots of the following actions. We'll be using these to tell our bot to change actions. Now, in your code editor, create a function main and wrap its execution in a while loop. We'll be creating three functions, cut wood, create fire, and return to reset. Create a for loop using the number of trees you're targeting. I have seven different trees, so I'll make the range from one to seven. What's going to happen is eventually our inventory will get full and we'll need to get rid of some of the wood that we've cut. So let's think about the end goal first and handle that situation. We'll create a fire if the inventory is full and we'll also create a fire on set intervals to prevent that situation from occurring too much. We'll go on to create the fire function in a little bit. Let's set this up right here and we'll continue down. We'll search for the tree. We'll loop through each one of the tree photos. And if one is found, we'll take the X and the Y coordinates and use them to click on the tree. At this point, import random as well. To avoid bot detection, we'll add a bit of randomness to the clicks by adding a very small range that our bot can click on. We'll use PyAutoGUI to move to the X and the Y coordinate, and we'll use Sleep to add some time in between the clicking of the UI. Right click on the tree to bring the chop option up, and we'll grab these coordinates too. If it is found, we'll get these coordinates and move the mouse to it. Click on it. And afterwards, we'll give it time to actually chop the tree down. And now we go to our return function. So we want a return to reset function to keep our bot near the targeted area because if he strays away, it may break the program and produce some unexpected behavior. So this is simple. Just use the photo of reset that you took and use a similar methodology as last time. We look for the reset square. If it's found, we take those coordinates. We make the mouse move to it. We right click it and we move to the reset square.
And last but not least, let's unload all the wood that we cut and make more room by creating fire. So this is a little tricky because RuneScape does not allow you to create fires on top of one another. So we need to check if we're already on top of one. We'll use a message in the chat to help us figure this out. If we are on top of one, then let's just get out of the function return. But if not, we'll look for the tinder box on the screen and if it's found, we can continue. I set the number of fires we want to make before exiting to be 5, but you can choose whatever number you like. Let's check again to see if we're standing on a fire in case we were standing on the previous one. If not, let's get a picture of the wood in our inventory. And we'll move to that wood. Sleep, and then we click on it. And then we move to the tinder box. Sleep, and click. After we wait for it to light, and we can make it 7 seconds, we'll increment the number of fires by 1 to make sure our while loop doesn't go on forever. And now, for the finishing touches, let's just add this failsafe. We'll call these functions from our main, and we'll sleep between every function. Something to note, play around with the confidence values and sleep values that you're using. You most likely will need to tweak these values to get the optimal efficiency for your bot. So take the values that I'm using, just as a guideline. So now that we're finished, let's fire up this bad boy and see if it works. I'll let this run for an hour while I go ahead and take care of some household things. So at the end of this, in fire making, I got 4,483 experience from letting my bot run, and then from tree cutting I got 2,858 experience. I'm pretty happy with these results. With some minor tweaks, you can use this for things like mining, fishing, and cooking, to level up your runescape character with little to no effort. Of course, there are definitely some things that can be optimized. Sometimes the bot would click on a tree to chop it down that it was already chopping down, and sometimes it would return to reset when it really didn't need to. To improve your bot, try changing up the confidence parameters on the image detection and playing around with the different areas that have trees to see which one works best.